we start here and what you want to do first you hold right as soon as you get in the level keep holding right until about here and you want to hit up make sure you while you're falling and the frame that you hit the ground here release It's like that. Just release as soon as you hit the ground. Get a one frame jump off the ground. And then next is you roll, still holding right, until right here. And you're gonna hold jump. Like that. And after that, you wanna hold jump, stay holding jump. So you get all the way to about right over the right of this platform. This is a huge window, it's like 17 frames, but I just do it around here because this is where the original string did it. You don't want to release for one, two, two frames. That should give you a very big jump off that. Let me do it in real time. Just like that. After that, once you get that big jump, you want to stay holding all the way until about here. I don't really have like any visual cue for this. I just kind of do it by feel. But you can probably find something from the cloud right above Red Ball. But you, know, you release as soon as you get here. And it should line you up so you land right on the edge of this and you're gonna hold jump and try and get a one frame jump off of this landing on like that specific part of that platform you hit like a sort of weird polygon it gives you a short jump and then okay i'll show you that in real time it's about like this yeah just like that so once you get here, you know, hold jump, do that little one frame, and then wait all the way until about right here, and then switch from holding right, which you've been doing for the entire level, immediately switch to left. And that should make it so you barely miss touching the plunger, and then you wanna switch to holding right, and then jump. That should give you about a dot six. That one gives six, four, five. So that's the, the main strat right there. All right, so for the first backup I'm gonna be showing, this will be the one for if you go one frame late on that release there. So what you're gonna wanna do is the same thing as you do normally. You wait till you land, and one frame jump, and then switch around here. But you're gonna wanna not hold left all the way. Cause you're gonna wanna land middle, middle right of the plunger and just hold jump into it. Now that one was was really, really good. That's a that's about close to as good of a launch as you're gonna get from that. That's a 14.742, which is actually a very solid plunger time, but this strat can vary. It's pretty luck-based whether or not you get a fast one or a slow one or just don't make it at all. But I find that if you mess this up and have to go for this, aiming for the middle right, about the fastest way. As you can see, sometimes you'll go a million miles in the air. This will get you about like a 15, if you land there, of course, which I didn't. Yeah, sometimes you'll get one where you go a little bit short of the flag and you'll have to land on that last ball to save it. Let's see if I can get one of those there. I doubt that I can, but let's try. You know, that's another high, high one. 
Yeah, these will get you about a 15, like low 15, low to mid 15, those ones. And then when you have to land on a ball, it'll usually be about 15.3, 15.4. So yeah, that's how you save the one frame late. All right, so for the next back up, you're, this is for if you hit a frame late on this jump here after getting the first frame perfect. You'll know that you did this whenever you slightly overshoot the grass. Like you'll go a bit farther on the grass than you normally would. And what you're gonna wanna do is about release about there and just try and do like the slowest possible nine from there. So like try and get as big of a gap between you and the platform there and then do like a really tiny jump. That's that's about as slow as you can do that. And then you're gonna wanna slow down here and jump off this with some with as low momentum as possible. So you get a higher jump. And then just do plunger the way you do it on the normal cycle. Just like that, except to actually make it. Which I did not do because I'm in the tasic and suck at it. But usually when you make it on this, it'll give you about a 15.2, 15.1. So about a low 15 if you have to use this backup. And the last backup I'm gonna be showing is going a frame late on this jump here, or this release here. So if you go frame late and then jump about there, you'll notice that you go a lot shorter and you'll land on You'll hit that checkpoint. You'll hit that checkpoint on the ground there. That's when you know that you've gotten this. What you're going to want to do is just pull jump the whole way. Just the entire way. And same thing as last time. Get a really big jump off of this. As big as you can. And just do the normal plunger cycle. Again. This will get you low 15. That one was actually pretty good for... That yeah, got me a 15.065. It's about the about the same ending as the last backup. And yeah, that's... That's everything for that trap.